Winston makes Ian the happiest I have ever seen him. And that's all a friend can ask for. They have learned to complement each other's strengths and weaknesses, and have bridged literally hundreds of miles to begin this journey that is life together. Nonetheless, I'm so happy for you both, and wish you a long and happy life together. Like a big yellow comet across my sky. I thought you were an angel, fire and light, and I promised I wouldn't cry. <laughs> Hi, Father Dear. This is what I would try. Yep. Nice. Father's good. <laughs> <laughs> We are gathered here today in the presence of friends and family, in the presence of God, to celebrate and to give witness to the union of marriage between Ian Jordan Olala and Kristen Nicole Snyder. And who gives this lovely bride to be married to this groom? Her mother and I. Very good. Ian these words to your bride. I, Ian, take you, Kristen. I, Ian, take you, Kristen. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. And Kristen, these vows to your groom. I, Kristen, take you, Ian. I, Kristen, take you, Ian. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. What do the two of you bring as a sign of your vows to one another? Rings. Rings. All right. And so it is with this precious ring. Place on Kristen's finger saying these words. Kristen, I give you, Kristen, I give you this, ring this ring as a sign of our precious love. As a sign of our precious love. In the name of the Father, the, the, Son, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And so, Kristen, taking this ring, placing it on Ian's finger, you might say, you should say, <laughs> you, you will say, you shall. Ian, I give you this ring. Ian, I give you this ring. As a sign of our endless love. As a sign of our endless love. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. The Son. The Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. With all of these things before us, I can declare now that Ian, you are husband, and Kristen, you are wife. And with that, Ian, you may kiss your bride.
right, don't walk away yet, because I get the wonderful privilege of announcing you as the new Mr. and Mrs. And so, ladies and gentlemen, for the very first time, I present to you the new Mr. and Mrs. Ian and Kristen Olova. have been Kristen's friend for the last eight years. We met on our first day at Westminster in orientation when I looked across the circle and saw a person equally as irritated with the other girl talking as I was. And in that moment, I thought to myself, yep, this is my best friend. <laughs> Over the last eight years, we've gone from roommates to living five hours apart in two different states. Even in different states, she has always been there for me when I need her, from overdramatic panic attacks studying for my boards, to family emergencies and more. Buddy, you're truly my person. I've heard that there are two types of soulmates, the one that you marry and your best friend. Tonight in this room, you have both. Of course, this day is one of huge religious and spiritual importance that should not be understated. But within that covenant, is something very simple, that this is a promise to continue to care for each other in the little ways. Maybe that's taking out the trash, or holding her phone in her pocket while her skirt doesn't have any, <laughs> or patiently waiting a few extra minutes in the used bookstore as he rifles through yet more editions of the New Testament. <laughs> and I would think that it's something, sometimes in the small things, that aggregate to really make marriage work. And don't forget to show up for one another in small ways all throughout your lives. Oh, and also, don't get, forget to avoid bad advice too, because trust me, there was enough of that on that Marriage Quote website. <laughs> <laughs> Nonetheless, I'm so happy for you both and wish you a long and happy life together. Cheers to the bride and groom.